Hello and welcome to prayer at the close of day. And I'm going to take her arm from the back of my head and readjust her. She moved while I was trying to uh, turn on the camera. Can you look forward? There you are. We are certainly glad that you are with us this night. We begin as we live in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. And I should mention why we're in my home study this evening. Uh, we're actually on vacation this week, and so I thought instead of us running down to the church, we would just uh, work out of our home study. And uh, so that's why we are in a more informal surrounding this night. Our psalm for this week is Psalm number 89. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens, you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? A God greatly to be feared in the council of the holy ones. Awesome above all who are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are? O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you. And this night, we are going to be returning to Luther's small catechism which we have not done since November 18 because of the Thanksgiving Eve emphasis, and then we did a series throughout Advent. So it's been five weeks since we looked at the small catechism. So we're picking up in the Lord's Prayer, and we're at the second petition, Thy kingdom come. What are you doing? <laughs> Very nice. And in, uh, in order to find a scripture which I think illustrates Thy kingdom come, I've selected John 1, 1 through 14, which is also the lesson that's uh, appointed for every year on Christmas Day. And it's um, one of the, probably the high points of literary quality of the scriptures. Just beautiful in its detail and imagery. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world. I apologize, I'm having trouble turning the page. And the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own. And his own people did not receive him, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And I'm going to reposition a dog here. 
I've lost the dog. She's had an interesting day. Do you just want to go off and play? I'll call you later. And we look at the small catechism, which is we're at the Lord's Prayer, looking at the second petition, Thy kingdom come. <clears throat> Luther says, as regards to the petition, Thy kingdom come, what does this mean? The kingdom of God certainly comes by itself without our prayer. But we pray in this petition that it may come to us also. <clears throat> Excuse me. How does God's kingdom come? God's kingdom comes when our heavenly Father gives us his Holy Spirit, so that by his grace we believe his holy word and lead godly lives here in time and there in eternity. And so it's just as we saw last time, which was six weeks ago, as Luther says regarding hallowed be thy name, that his name is, is, is holy uh, apart from our prayer. And when we say thy kingdom come, I, I meant to say thy will be done. His will occurs without our prayer in the same way here also. God's kingdom enters the world apart from our prayer, but we pray in this petition that his kingdom may come to us, which is why I chose the lesson from John chapter 1, in, in which we, we learn of Jesus Christ being the eternal Son of the Father, that everything came into being through him, that he was the word of God that was spoken, that when the Father created, by speaking the word, let there be light indeed, the Son is that Word, and we read that the Spirit is moving upon the waters, that it's one God in three persons who has made himself known to us, and that Jesus is that Word. And then we learn that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And what we translate as dwelt, um, more rightly is translated, lived in tents among us lived in tents among us, took up residence, came right into where we live, that the very God of the very God took up our human flesh and lived among us. And so his kingdom came, just as was promised, because kingdom, in the sense that it is spoken of in regards to God's kingdom, is not a place. It's not a place, but it's a reign, a rule. It's God's ruling over all things which has entered the world. And we see it most clearly in the birth of the Christ child. But also, we pray in this petition that his kingdom, that his reign, that his rule may happen among us also. In our baptism into Christ Jesus as we're baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come to dwell within us. The Father has adopted us as his own daughters and sons. And indeed, we are made sisters and brothers with Christ Jesus. Thus begins this relationship of grace in which God makes known his will and his word to us and by faith causes us to believe these things through which he gives us all these precious gifts, the forgiveness of our sins, eternal life, and salvation. That in the life of the church, in God's word, as it's read, taught, and studied, and indeed the sacraments, as holy baptism is administered, as the Lord's Supper is shared among us, that the kingdom of God has more than come near, as John the baptizer will say, in the birth of Jesus. But it has come unto us, and that we are made a part of that kingdom, and that every single day of our life, as we remember our baptism, that we remember that we are a part of that kingdom, and that kingdom is a part of us, and that the day will come when Christ shall return. And on that day, 
all the kingdoms of this world will come to an end and that the full reign of God will dwell among us and we will dwell within it. In the name of Jesus, amen. And the squeaking noise that you hear is that Belle is playing with one of her toys just in front of the desk on a blanket. Um, she was on the recliner earlier, but she has moved. It's going to be that kind of a day. Please join with me in confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we have what was written in our gospel lesson this past week, the Note de Metis, or the Song of Simeon. And I'm going to pause this for just one second to collect Belle the Comfort Dog, who is Belle the Distraction Dog. And her strawberry squeaks, as you've already heard. Now you get a chance to see the strawberry, one of her favorite toys that she received at Christmas time. But from our gospel lesson this past Sunday from Luke chapter 2, Simeon said as he held the infant Jesus in the temple, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And then we pray the prayer of the day, which we prayed for the first time this week on Sunday morning at the Divine Service. O God, our Maker and Redeemer, you wonderfully created us in the incar you wonderfully created us and in the incarnation of your son yet more wondrously restored our human nature grant that we may ever be alive in him who made himself to be like us through Jesus Christ our lord who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god now and forever amen Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Kind Father, we have many concerns to bring before your holy altar. Hear our prayers as each one of us prays quietly in the thoughts of our hearts. Answer, we pray, according to your gracious will, and conform our lives to that of your dear Son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Kind Father, 
We remember before you all those persons whom we have named on our prayer list, especially the family and friends of Eleanor Swain, Daryl, Carl, Laron, Roger, Marcia, Tim, Kathy, Beverly, Lori, Amy, Bob, Darlene, Carol, Ruth, Karen, Brad, Keith, Ed, John, Bobby, Mike, Tom, Doris, Joaquin, Marcy, Laura Jo, Caden, Janice, Lauren May, and her daughter Frances, all of our members who are homebound, all members of our armed forces, particularly Pastor Keith Giroux, Kyle Summers, and Logan Davies, all emergency service personnel, and all who work for the common good. May they be comforted and cared for, and may your will be done in their lives. In the strong name of Jesus we pray. Amen. And then please join with me in praying Luther's evening prayer as we read it in the Catechism. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and keep you. Amen. And we're going to offer blessings to our distracting person here. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us this night. Um, this may be one of the last times we do this from the home study, as it's more difficult in the evening for her to focus. Um, when we record the children's program, Catechism and Dog, it's earlier in the day, and she's not uh, brain fried by that point. She will turn a year old at the end of this coming month, January 24, uh, and we're hoping to start seeing an adult dog to emerge, but we know that it won't happen quickly. Uh, but certainly, we are glad that you are here this night. May God bless you.